everybody, morning campers. Um, today, well, this morning, I've got ready. I've had a nice time. Just filmed me doing this makeup. Just the eyeshadow though, and a little bit of the face because I know it's so boring when you have to watch me do exactly the same thing every single day. If anyone wants to send me some new makeup so I can do some new stuff, that would be great. Also. My tan's looking awful, Kel Surprise, we all know what it's like here. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how I created this and have a few little life updates with me, then just keep watching. Right, so basically I've had two weeks off and I'm back at college today. I feel exhausted, I don't know what to do. It's not even early in the morning, I've been waking up way earlier than this, but I feel so tired. Um, I'm just cleaning my brushes with my brush cleaner. So this morning so far what I've done is I've woke up, I've brushed my teeth, which is what I do first thing every morning. Then I've gone downstairs, I've made a cup of tea, which is something that I do every day because I can't live without a cup of tea. I've got one of these cleaner things. Bought it off Amazon. Pretty, ba pretty bad, pretty good. So, the first thing that I do after I brush my teeth and everything is do my moisturiser. We're going to do a fun eye today, I think, just because we've not done that for quite a while. Okay, so what I've done is just my whole base, basically, because no one wants to see me do exactly the same thing 3,000 times because it's boring as. Um, so, what I'm going to do for eyes is I'm going to be taking... The Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm pretty sure I can just use this one palette for what I'm going to do. I might need to dip into another palette, I'm not 100%. What I'm going to do to start with is I've already gone over my lids with, um, it's just a matte eyeshadow from Krylan. Um, so yeah, that's what I've popped on my eyes there. I'm going to take all these out. And I've just gone all over my whole eyelid. Let me move a bit more. Okay, so then the next step is I'm going to take this brush, which I haven't cleaned, I won't lie to you. And I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is called Silk Cream. And I'm just going to pop this all over the lid, the whole thing. Bang, bang, bang. And this is just going to create a nice transition kind of base colour. So this look, I haven't actually done this kind of eyeshadow in a long time. And then I'm going to just take the same brush and the one underneath that. So this one is Butter. Oh wait, no it's not, it's Pooter. Lovely. And just going to pop this. Um, just on the actual eyelid, a bit further down. And this is just going to start adding some depth and cuteness. I really do need to put some um, powder under my... Why do I where my sponge is gone? There we go, that'll do. So yeah, this is just, and then these are literally exactly the same shade, so all it's doing is just adding a bit more depth. And then I'm going to go in with a clean brush, this is the 228 crease brush from Zoe Eva. And I'm going to go and take this brow here, which is called Mocha. Excuse my nails, they're disgusting. I'm just going to pack this on, tap off the excess. And just focus it more on the outer corner of the eye, but I'm also going to bring it in a little bit. Oh my gosh! And then blend out the edges with the same brush that we used before, just so there's no harsh lines. Which there looks like there is. So I'm just going to take a clean brush and that first shade we use, Silk Cream, and just pack this all over. 
just to help it blend. And then go back in with the darker shade. Over the top. Because you can see that there's quite a harsh light there. I mean, it's not showing up in real life, but on camera it is, so... Yeah. Okay, so I've gone ahead and done both of that on both eyes. And then what I'm going to do is just take this gold shimmery colour, which is called Meeks. Yeah, Meeks. If the blending is failing, just stick a shimmer over it and it'll all be fine. And I'm going to brush away the powder that I put under my eyes. And then for the under eyes, I'm actually going to take a different palette because I don't think that one's going to work with that blue because it's really sparkly and shimmery. So what I'm going to be doing is just taking the matte spectrum palette from Zoeva and this one here. And I'm just going to take a little brush, which again hasn't been cleaned because I'm an absolute mess. And I'm going to get so a little brush like this and oops i'm just literally just gonna pat this all under on the lower lash line okay so once that's done what you can do is just take a little fluffy brush and i'm just gonna blend this out So yeah, popping another colour under your eyes is a really good way to make it look like you've actually spent loads of time on your makeup and you know what you're doing, even though you don't. Right, so that's the eyeshadow done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I'm going to put glue. Oh, why do I always leave my glue elsewhere? Um, yeah, I'm going to put some mascara on. I'm going to put my lashes on. And then I'll be back. Right, so the lashes I'm using are Samantha's by Huda Beauty. I've been using these ones for a while now. I'm going to need to get a new pair because they're covered in glue. But that's how we do it here in the swamp. So, yeah. My eyes, like underneath my eyes, is looking really powdery. But don't worry, that will get sorted out when we pop on some setting spray. If we ever get to that. Right, so that's that one lash glued up. And the other... Oh, I forgot. Uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you about my shoes, actually. So, basically, what happened is... Um, it was going to be the same guy that was delivering the replacement pair that the company was sending me out as um, the one that didn't deliver them the first time. So, I... Um was really adamant that I was going to catch him out if he did, did the same thing again. So it got to the delivery slot and I'd put fake tan on at the time and I was literally turning green because I was so warm and sweaty and... but I just couldn't shower in case I missed him. Um, so that happened and then he actually arrived and I got my phone out and straight away I was recording it like I'm going to catch this guy out, what is he doing? And he was stood outside at the van like for like 20 minutes, I'm not even joking, on the phone, on my driveway, just having a chat to someone, I mean you do you, it's fine, whatever. Um, and then he eventually um, pulls out my parcel and comes to the door. And I'm like I'm going to confront him, I'm going to confront him. So I get my phone out, I'm recording it. And I'm just like, open the door, he gives me the parcel, and I'm like, have you delivered here before? Have you? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, your parcel's next door, I delivered there because I wasn't sure which house was yours. He, he's actually a really nice guy, and I was like, I was hating on him so bad. Um, and he was really nice, so I feel really bad actually. Um, because I got him in trouble. He said when he got back to the depot, they were saying, where have you put this parcel? What's happened? Blah, blah, blah. And yeah, he'd actually just delivered them next door. So I got, these are the shoes that got delivered as the replacement pair because they didn't have the ones I wanted in that color. And then on, I think it was, let me just put this on. I 
think it was Saturday they arrived and yeah so basically my neighbours brought them round and these are the ones that I wanted originally so obviously they're exactly the same shoe just a different colour um yeah um pretty pretty happy I don't know what to do though do I send the pair that I got back or do I keep them or what's the normal protocol because I feel like I feel like this man would have got in so much trouble and he didn't actually do anything wrong. He just delivered my shoes to where he thought he was supposed to. Yeah, hopefully I'll see him again. Have a nice chat. Because, yeah, he was lovely. Um, but, yeah, now I've got two pairs of shoes. I don't really know what to do. Nowhere to wear them. Um, yeah, all in all, I think I'm winning at life. So I'm just popping my lashes on, as you can see. I'm hoping it will dry. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Cryolan Eyeshadow Compact. This is a matte one. It's called Cacao. So it's just this brown. I'm going to use this as bronzer. And this brush, which I need to clean, but I'm not going to because I'm going to lose it. So just pop this all over. And then we're going to go in with a blusher. Again, not clean my blusher brush either. What an absolute minger. But to be fair, these do stay in the pink. does not come out, so not really my problem. And, and this one is just called Flamingo. It's the same thing. One of these little... Oh, what's that nice shimmery? Um, I'm just going to really lightly pop this. When you say really lightly, and you just end up looking like a flamingo. Okay, so that's blusher on, and then I'm going to go with my highlight, which is not going to be the same one that I always use, because that's boring. I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. Um, I, can't, I have to be so careful with this, because I've smashed it. We're going to go in with that smashed shade, though, actually, because it's super gold. And hopefully not get any on the carpet. I'm just going to do my usual and just pop this everywhere. So yeah, that's just popped up around. I'm going to shut that before it goes anywhere else. Oh, it's not too bad on the carpet. It's mostly just all over me. That's fine. And then for lips, I'm going to take the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick. This is the shade Bombshell. It's quite nice and pinky. And just pop this on. Okay, so that's going to dry matte when it's eventually dried, which will be cute. Okay, so yeah, this is the completed look. It's fun, it's fresh, it's funky. It's nice if you're going out, but I just figured I've not done a full face of makeup for a long time. Biggest lie I've ever told. Um, well, not for college anyway. I normally don't wear makeup for college at all, so I just thought, why not get ready for college? I've got loads of time two minutes I need to leave in two minutes um uh so yeah this is it it's just fun it's funky it's fresh and yeah I hope you've enjoyed this video and me babbling about random stuff and yeah thank you for watching I'm not with it all in all I think it's gonna be a wicked day and I just hit myself in the face because you know what I'm like if the blending is bad <coughs> And it's all gone in my eye. Absolutely excellent. And it won't do any harm. It won't do any harm. It'll be fine. So I was like, come on, man. <laughs> um, I'm <gasps> oh.